People complain that coyotes made themselves too at home in the bayou. That's right. They say the wild animals killed several small animals. Carolyn Schofield talked to the parish councilman who wants to put a bounty on their furry heads. Carolyn? Well, there have been sightings of coyotes around Terrebonne Parish in neighborhoods and close to elementary schools where young children uh, attend. Now a council member wants to do something about it before these animals become a real threat. They were a nuisance when they got into garbage cans. But when a coyote ate a chihuahua in a Homa neighborhood, Terrebonne Parish Councilman Johnny Pizzolato knew he had to do something. It's into the farmlands. It's killing goats. I've got reports of goats being killed, small calves being killed, and the sightings have been increasing and increasing in Terrebonne. The Terrebonne Parish Council sent this letter to state wildlife officials, asking them to put a bounty on coyotes. Pizzolatto thinks it could work much like the Nutria program, where licensed trappers get money for every animal caught and killed. Once you tell a Cajun that there's a price on an animal's head, I think that those coyotes will suddenly disappear and their numbers can be controlled. Some wildlife experts say killing coyotes doesn't take care of the problem, that there are more humane ways to get rid of them. Bo Gast of the Louisiana Wildlife Rehabilitators Association says lethal eradication programs have failed across the country. Gast says, quote, when you shoot a coyote, it disrupts the pack, causing more breeding and leads to an increased number of coyotes roaming throughout the area. If you leave that pack in place and aggressively haze them, you will reduce sightings and keep the coyote wild. Called the professional coyote snare. Catching coyotes is John Schmidt's specialty. They're territorial, and as their population grows, they spread out. And if you open, if you bump some off, some from another area will move into that area. And so you're not going to get rid of all of them, but you could surely hunt them, and you could put big pressure on them, and you could really decrease the odds of a problem. And that's why Pizzolatto believes the state needs to step up its efforts to control the coyote population before another pet or next time a person gets hurt by the wild animals. And Pizzolatto says that the letter is on its way to state officials now. Of course, this idea is in the early stages, but he expects to get some kind of answer very soon. John and Nancy, back to you. All right, it's Carolyn Schofield live in Terrebonne Parish tonight. Thanks.